Why, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past. Coming from plantations nearby. Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. We trade at prices Mr. Beckford knows are fair. And with a quality he knows is sound. It gladdens me to hear your say, sir. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Not really necessary. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It's a good harm. You might not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. <laughs> All over the boys. We're going home. Look of a man crafting a bold idea. Look, I've seen before. You mark well, I think. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping. He gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Loose topsails, gallants and royals! Douse the gallants and royals! Mainmast, bring in the top halyards! Loose all, let's move! Hold on, there's trouble afoot. I see them. Our force Loose up! Keep her sticks! 
Goose and trim two. Ground it all on. I know she's a good sailor. Sir, now prove it. My trim rigs cargo here, sir. Trim the yards off the wind. We ride the wind for all she's worth. Ease off the wind! Ahoy along! Bring it all in! Captain has the... Unfurl, mates! Let's move! We're clear, Captain. Enemy making for us, sir! Cutter! Royal bloody navy! Seems to be alone, sir! Crowd on every inch of sail! Loose tops and royals! Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? Huh? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. It must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers to crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it's time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in touches with copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is nearly the hottest thing on earth. There's a touch on the skin, it stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Sneak ashore. We'll look after the jacket. Reef in, all top! Reef the foreman! here why such disarray bit of a do sir that's all it's wilmington's birthday and you saw fit to get pickled on duty no bother sir we have everything sorted we'll soon see won't we for you must double the watch this evening double sir whatever for i believe i was followed here by pirates in my eyes on me, though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. 
Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. Whether or not, it's all got to be moved, lads. With gumption. We're not done here, Smith. You can gab later. And I'll hear no more complaints. You're paid to work. We're not done here, Smith. You can gab later. Heavy or not, it's all <laughs> your knees, lad. With gumption. It's your knees, lad. I'll not have you throw your back. I'll hear no more complaints. You're paid to work. We're not done here, Smith. You can gab later. Heavy or not, it's all got to be moved, lads. With gumption. Finally. Apparently they've dug up some old crates full of crap. Hmm. Yeah, but... You there, stop! Stop! He's trying to get away! Stop! Ah! You let that 
can't even be legal. Cool. Use your knees, lad. I'll not have you throw your back. We're not done here, Smith. You can grab mm. later. We're not done here, Smith. You can grab later. I'd advise you to listen. We lost them, you'll be prat. Bastards are mistakes. You best do as you say. Come on, go. I'll not have you through your back. Duck 
Skip on his own road. Do me, Johnny Parker, do 